Hi guys, Nevada's been the distributor for dual antennas for some time now and to be honest with you I've never had the chance to play with one. We're on lockdown at the moment due to the coronavirus and uh, so I thought this would be a great time for me to actually experience one hands on. I wanted to put up a 9 element 2 meter beam so I've got here uh, the PA14495. It's dual 9 element 2 meter beam just unpacked it and I've got to say I am really impressed just look at this as we go along every element is labeled uh, the screws are already in with tape to secure them uh, even the orientation there's an A on one side to make sure they're all the same way a B on the other side uh, the driven element is a solid copper driven element uh, it's again labeled beautiful um, fittings and it comes complete with this ballon ready assembled and a really nice end type connector. Uh, again the boom, nice chunky section boom, all labelled um, so it's easy to put together. And a really nice, you can't knit this, but that's really heavy duty uh, bracket with all the screws. This aerial is their portable aerial, the portable nine element. Um, the whole thing is less than 1.2 meters long and will pack into a box like this which could easily be taken on an aircraft if you were uh, traveling around the world or doing an expedition or something. So as we start to put it together the first thing I notice is the quality of the connections. I'm just going to put that round there. Just look at this beautiful boom uh, joints. That just slots in there. It's a really nice fit. Holes line up well and um, that's going to make a really secure uh, joint there. So first impressions, really nice. It's one of the nicest constructed arrows I've seen. So um, we'll have a go at putting it together and see how long it takes. Well there you are, 40 minutes later the whole antenna is assembled. I'll tell you what, in my 56 years as an amateur, I've built so many aerials. This has been one of the nicest ones to build. It's been a dream. The drilling, the, the accuracy, uh, the, the ease of which it went together is really good. Let me just show you a couple of things over here that I really like. If you just look here closely, you'll see, as I said earlier, <clears throat> Each element is ready assembled. All you have to do is screw those two screws into uh, holes that are already there. The boom is marked with a number. The, the left and right hand side is marked, as you can see an A there and an A there. And it just goes on perfectly. And then look at this driven element assembly. What a beautiful piece of kit. The antenna comes with it already assembled. You just literally screw it onto the boom. And then the ballon is already part of it. The, the end socket and it's all weather sealed in there it's all weather sealed you probably can't see here behind um, do you know what I'm really impressed with this so I guess the next thing is we've got to get it up in the air and see how it works this is the point where I wish my towel was motorized it's such hard work anyway after an hour and a half <clears throat> taking the tower down putting it up uh, there's the aerial up on the tower just below um, my uh, comets four element six meter beam. Looks good doesn't it? Um, reasonable bit of separation. I suppose it's probably at about 65 feet. So let's go see what it does. So here we are in the shack. Um, let's have a quick look at the SWR on the antenna. Oh look at that. Virtually nothing. Just uh, put it to power. So that's the forward power. Yep, so that's looking good. The SWR's good. So let's go see if we can get a QSO. Nine, five and nine on the back of the beam. Five and nine on the back of the beam. Uh, only got um, 12 meters of uh, 213. No mast yet, Priam. It's not the, uh, the hearing people that's the problem with me. It's uh, them hearing me, obviously, being an M6. But uh, there we go. Anyway, yep, yeah, you're five and nine on the back of the beam. G3 SED from M6 over the So what did I think of it? Opening the box, it was a pleasant surprise to see that everything was ready for assembly. You know, that tape over the screws, 
um, the easy way it went together. Um, and then on air, um, I checked, we didn't do it on that sample there, but I did a front to back and it was over 30 dB, which I thought was very, very good. Although it's a, a portable aerial essentially, um, it's just as good to keep as a permanent aerial at home and I shall keep it here on the tower. So um, yeah, really, really enjoyed it, putting it together, I'm very impressed with it um, and I'd recommend it. We've put a link below the video so that you can go to our website and see the antenna and all the spec for yourself. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and um, I'll try and do a few more videos of other antennas that uh, may be of interest.